but okay, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The SD card. So first, we'll look at the uh, new arm. Now, first thing I notice, I can't even recall, but these are uh, the thumb screws. That's a nice touch compared to the V6S. And also, the connector here is much more beefier compared to the V6S. Also back here, now my first arm on the V6S, that totally break oil, uh, got snapped here in the shipping. I got a replacement arm, with no questions asked, just, just provided a photo for it. But they definitely have done some better job at this. Okay, so, okay, so here you get the cloth to wash off your, to dry off your uh, rub. Quick starter guide. The VR goggles. Very nice. Okay. And here we've got some spare pops. The cable for the AC to DC. Yeah, the charger for the rob itself. The controller or transmitter. TX, whatever you want to call it. See, here we have the charger for the controller, transmitter, and some. Microfiber cloth, bling bling. Nope, it's a tool, in fact. Yeah, there you go, some grease. Okay, moving on to the spool. Now, I bought myself the M2 kit or M200, so I got a 200 meter tether. Now, this new tether here, it's a fine touch. They came with a rubber protector here, that didn't come with the last one. So, this is a, a nice little feature. Spool itself, just like the other one. Okay, let's show you the connector here. Yep. And a little cap here, safety cap. Okay, here are the tools I got with this kit. I'm not quite sure if I got it with the uh, rubber kit or the arm kit. But anyways, here's the tools I got. Tool for the hex screws. A fastener, 5.5 millimeter. Yeah, this is definitely for the arm. Some hex and some Philip. Spare part screw. Very nice. There we go. Nice and neat. Now for the rub itself. Yep. Mm -hmm. huh. I'm not but it feels a little bit more lighter compared to V6S. And now I'm going to show you the tool. This one here. And yes, that is the tool to remove the cap for the SD card slot. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just tight because of the first one. Okay. Oh, that is tight. Okay, there was some pressure in here. Okay, hang on. You got an SD card here that came with the arrow. And the SD card is the Scanisk Ultra. Put it back again. Awesome, please. Okay. So, a little push it with your thumb and hand tight it. Tight it anymore, so just use the tool to. Tighten the last millimeter. Yep, some grease definitely. So here you will connect your arm, and here you will. Okay, that's a... Okay, there's an instructions here. And here you can see, very nice. I like it. So should we try to test the arm? Yeah, why not? We're gonna mount the arm. Very nice. Okay, now so let's see here. Okay, there's some hooks there. So, Whoop. Ah. okay, then let's do it this way.
Okay, that's much easier. <laughs> so we've got three screws here. Okay, we're gonna use the provider sc uh, screws here, the M3 by 12. There we go, all bolted on. Let's see. Okay. There you can see the SD card. And I saw, and I went from uh, there's one space here. Not easy to show you, but mm. ah, there we go. Now you can see how I mounted it. Of course, here uh, you connect your tether. So I'm gonna go connect to your home. Now you can see there's a guide slot there, and there's a guide pin here. So like this. So I could imagine the first few goes. It's a very tight fit. Wood out like this. Come on. Okay, there we go. So here is a Ryugi bag. This more specific, specific model is the um, RSSL TB2. Here, like so. This is one way to leave it in here, for example. Then you can have your other bits and parts in here. Now, the spool itself, maybe if you could turn it like so. Maybe we could fit the uh, I guess you can definitely fit the 100 meter spool here. Not quite sure about the 200. Maybe you could uh, add a foaming pad underneath. Mm. We could, we could try it. No, 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 no. This is not gonna work. Yep, yep. No way. Uh, uh. Nope. But if you have a 100 meter spool, I think that would work. So I could put my uh, transmitter, uh, a battery pack for example, some bits and parts here, iPad or whatever you choose, you want to use some cloth, some drinks. And of course, you could use this as a stroller, or trolley or whatever you guys call it. Well, I like this idea, but you can also use a bag, a backpack, because the thing is, I didn't want to un unscrew my arm each and every time, but okay, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on, hang, hang on, the SD card slot, <laughs> ah, no, god damn it, okay. Yes, the SD card slot. And now I need to remove it each and every time. God damn it. Okay, fuck. Okay, so with that discovery, the SD card slot is in there. And now I need to take off the arm each time I want to use that feature. But that's already been a guy with some tips. I'm gonna link uh, the picture right there. And also I'm gonna link the video to it. Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. So instead of these M3 bolts, we're gonna use some M3 thumb screws. Okay, very nice. That fixes it. So the, maybe the backpack would be the better solution. Hmm. But anyway, I'm gonna use this bag here since I already got it. It's just more easier to travel with. Maybe the the old Fat Max would be better. I don't know. Anyways. That's it. Next video, we're going to have to take it for a ride.